so cold my nose is running. Hey everyone, it's Karen here and today I'm going to do February favorites. Yay! So, let's just start with favorites numero uno. So the first favorites item that I want to talk about is because I use this every single day now and it's the NYX BB Cream. You probably saw it in my Get Ready With Me for College video. So this actually came into the NYX gift bag that was gifted to me a while ago. I didn't really think much of it because I don't know, maybe because it's free. <laughs> I really, really like this product because it actually gives you, or it gives me the coverage that I want. I have like a little bit of discoloration here on my cheeks, probably because from um, my cheeks being a little larger than usual, so I'm hitting it directly. This product covers up all those little spots that you probably can't see in the camera, and it moisturizes my skin. So California is extremely dry, and this product gives me a really natural, glow because it has moisturizing properties to it so if you're looking for a good bb cream that actually gives you coverage i want to compare this against a maybelline bb cream uh, because that that product has been talked about a lot and personally i prefer this bb cream over the maybelline way more the maybelline bb cream is good for really super ultra light coverage but even for myself i feel like it's not like thick enough it does give me that glowy look that i really like but not enough coverage. This guy does that, you know? It's I'm really surprised and I plan on using this through and through and maybe purchasing another one after. So I highly recommend this NYX BB Cream product. I don't think it's at Target right now because I believe this is from their NYX line that's coming up, but I'm pretty sure you can find this online. So I will link that down below if you are looking for a new BB Cream to try. Right, so the NYX my NYX product is this lip butter. I've been wearing this every single day. So I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. It complements my skin really well and it gives me a very spring-ish natural glow. Um, I don't know, when I put it on I just feel very awake and since it's winter the weather has been ultra dry, my lips have been chapping and this buttery formula keeps my moist or moisture keeps my lips moisturized and it gives me a really great color. But that's why I've been going for this guy this entire month. I usually wear orange lipsticks, but I don't know, I kind of want to tone it down a little bit and look a little bit girlier and less edgy. So I would compare this against the Revlon Balm Sting and actually prefer this one because the pigmentation is smoother. This one kind of sometimes comes out with like, you can tell it's like layers of lip product, but this one goes on very evenly. Formal, I want to say it's better, so good job NYX. This has become my all-time favorite because of how it leaves my hair feeling touchable, but keeping the hold in. It's, it's everything that the bottle says it is, is a touchable hold finishing mist. And lately I've been using it to add volume to the top of my head because my hair is now longer and it weighs down a lot and I lose a lot of volume up here. So what I've been doing is I would curl add like a little bit of curl to the top of my head and I would do that and I would spray it and it will stay there for the entire day and normally it stays for a day and a half which is extremely good so um, if you're looking for a really good hairspray that gives you a very touchable finish that also holds your hair I would recommend getting this Nixus Salon Hair Care Hairspray and I believe I got it from CVS or you know Rite, no, Rite Aid for about like $13, $15. It's actually a pretty affordable hairspray for how good it is. I want to say this is salon grade. Yeah! Go Nexus! So last month I talked about this Etude House Collagen Moisturizer and how much I love it and it gives me a really useful glow after I've been using it for over like two months now. It's a small bottle but it actually it lasts quite a while because the consistency it's has a pretty really good water base so it spreads out a lot. Enough talking about this. I actually really like this, but I wanted to try something different because I don't want my skin to get used to this product, which is why I went with this Hadanami Facial Collagen Cream. I picked it up at the Japanese supermarket a while ago because I wanted to try something different. I bought it for $18. I was pleasantly surprised because it actually feels and does exactly the same thing as this Etude House Moistful Collagen Cream. I guess because they both have collagen in it, it makes my skin feel firmer after I use it and bouncier. I know I'm really young and I probably don't need anti-wrinkle 
stuff right now, but I think it's important to maintain your skin while it's still in good condition, which is why I have been starting to use collagen items. So I really, really like this so far, and it smells delicious. And I'm not joking about the delicious part. It smells like lychee, guys, and I love lychee. Asian products are great. They make their cream smell like food. I have another cream that's in the shape of a, an apple, and the cream smells like apple. It's it's great. Japanese product. This is a Korean product. Both equally great. Yay, Asian products. Something I want to discuss with you guys is that I'm nearing year one of my YouTube career or YouTube channel or whatever YouTube life and it's been a really crazy journey. When I first made my video, I think it was like how I style old tees. You know, I never thought of making it like a... I never thought, you know, Karen is going to be a fashion YouTuber or Ugh, or even the word guru, that, that's weird to me. But I just made that video because my boyfriend was going to throw out his old t-shirts and they look dope. So I was like, dude, hold on to that and let me snip them up and do something with it. Over this year, I think I finally developed the I am Karano brand image, the I am Karano voice even further. You know, I've always had my own personal style, but I think building this site, this channel, and to, you know, to be who I am, it really took me some time to curate that and refine that. And I think finally I've gotten to the point right now where I'm a little bit more satisfied with how this channel is heading towards. But since I am near in year one and I'm moving on to year two, I want to switch it up to challenge this beauty fashion YouTube space and to bring you guys even more variety, stuff that you've never seen before, new ideas. So. I want to ask you guys what you guys think about having lookbook videos that's more of a music video format where I kill the voiceovers and do more interactive words popping, bubble popping type of stuff. I would really, really love your feedback because, you know, you guys have brought me so far along. It's, it's so mind-blowing to me, but yeah, I really appreciate your feedback and I would love to hear what you guys think. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you guys want to pick these products up yourself too, I'll link the links to these things to the info box down below. And that's it guys. I have a midterm to study for and a class to run to right now. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Are those fireworks? What was that? That was weird.